JLS Leadership Group. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Lindsay Eaton, and I'm a 2014 graduate of Chaparral High School. I have autism, but while many people see it as a negative label or reality, I see it as a diagnosis of awesomeness. <laughs> Growing up was quite challenging. I struggled to perform basic tasks like tying my shoe, opening chip bags, and opening water bottles because of weak motor skills. I attended Opie Elementary School and for kindergarten. It was hard for me to learn in such a big class. My parents found out about New Way Academy of Private School in Phoenix that, is, that specializes in helping those with disabilities. At New Way, I learned that it is okay to have autism and okay to learn different. I also benefited from the small class sizes and the teachers who cared about me and made sure I was exceeding expectations in and out of the classroom. At New Way, I blossomed. It was very obvious that my strengths were reading and writing and computer skills. The areas that were the hardest for me were math, and handwriting. I felt included and empowered at New Way. I started to get more involved in the school by serving on the yearbook committee, attending camp at Whispering Hope Branch, and attending a homecoming dance. <coughs> I had the opportunity to speak at a few spirit assemblies and even my eighth grade graduation. I discovered that I love public speaking. New Way truly helped me get to the point where I am today, and I am forever grateful for the teachers and administration. One amazingly cool thing is that I work at New Way on Thursdays as an intern. After New Way, I went to Chaparral High School. When I started at Chaparral, I had no friends and I was so scared to be at such a big school. My freshman year, I joined a club called Best Buddies. I began to meet so many friends at Chaparral and I felt truly included. I was, while I was at Chaparral, I was part of the special education program, but I was placed in mainstream classes. I excelled in English, computers, and social studies. I am a genius with technology, which gives me the ability to fix to be able to fix computer problems that no one can fix. If you have a prob computer problem, while well, I am here at Price Lutheran School, come find me. At Chaparral, I continue to develop my ability to speak in front of large groups. I was often on the announcements and spoke at assemblies. I took part in prom and homecoming dances. The most exciting thing was that I was selected to speak in front of over 4,000 people during Chaparral High School's graduation ceremony, which was held at ASU. I spoke about what it is like to have autism after the after the graduation ceremony.
ceremony, I broke down in tears in front of my dad and some of my teachers. And they asked me why I was sobbing. And I told them it was because I did not want to leave Chaparral. Little did I know what God had in store for me. I have been working here at Christ Lutheran School since September. But because of how inclusive the campus is, I felt like I've been working here for more than a year. Growing up, I attended DLS 8th grade graduations, events like Family Fun Night, and other school events and parties. Because many of my family members have gone to school here. Currently, my job allows me to help in the library with putting books away and dusting the panels and washing the tables. But without a doubt, my favorite part of my day is working with the preschool students for a majority of my work day. I consider myself fortunate because I get to develop close relationships with the preschool students. And for that reason, they are known as my best buddies at CLS. They hold my hand as we walk out to the preschool playground, sit on my lap during waiting time, and they invite me to play with them during aftercare and in the mornings. They also surprised me for my 22nd birthday a few weeks ago by giving me a book full of reasons why they love me helping out in their classrooms. I will treasure it for the rest of my life. I am lucky because I get to help prepare them for kindergarten by singing the Days of the Week song in the mornings and by giving them directions in the mornings and during aftercare. <clears throat> Another important part of my success of working here is that I have so many teachers and faculty members who care about my success on the job. They ask me how my days are going and I fill them in. Many teachers have told me I would make an amazing teacher in the future. Well, you guys are the first to know this. I want to go to college in the future to study to teach elementary education so I can teach kids in younger grades. When I was 12 years old, I was diagnosed with autism. And it was a diagnosis that my parents never imagined they would hear. There were many reasons why it was tough for me to comprehend. One reason was because they had to go the extra mile to find doctors who cared about me. Autism makes it challenging for me to deal with change, accept constructive criticism, and be in situations where a lot of noise with loud noise present, present, and to appropriately socialize with my peers. Well, even though autism presents some challenges in my life, it's made me stronger and inspired me to chase my dreams and never say never. I like to speak about what it's like to have a disability and they don't suffer from stage fright. I recently started to write a book about what it is like to have autism. Most people don't realize that people with disabilities like to talk and be included. That is one, that is one of the common assumptions that I face. To bust that barrier down, I talk to my 
co-workers about their weekends, families, and lives. Today, I empower all of you to reach out and include everyone, even if someone looks different than you, or to ask those who look like they are being bullied or excluded. And to sit with them at lunch or play with them on recess. If you struggle to include, remember what it has meant to me to be included. Thank you for listening to me. <clears throat> So I love Lindsay's story because